Hello. It's Serenity. I hope everyone is doing well. So today's video is going to kind of elaborate on my last video. That was about the parable of Jesus speaking about the house that becomes empty and it's inhabited by more evil spirits than there were before. So to paraphrase it, basically what that meant was that when a person no longer has all of these positive qualities filling their physical body or their emotional and mental being, it leaves room for evil spirit forces to transfer or inhabit that physical house, that body. So what is needed is that you need to fill up that house yourself with positive qualities like self-love, confidence, um, different aspects that make you whole. Because once you have cracks in your personality, that's when you leave yourself essentially open to these spirits inhabiting your house. So with that in mind, it will help you understand the Bible so much better. <laughs> and even these accounts. For instance, I keep saying that humans are not born from birth with sin. And once you realize the way humans work, you'll see that's true. Now, this rebel God is the one who, who incorporated sickness, deformities, and different aspects into humanity for his own purpose. That was not because humans sinned. That was the rebel God who did it on purpose. So anyway, moving on to Adam and Eve. This rebel God that's in the Bible knew that if he put that tree, which he made desirable, basically it would not have been something that they could resist. He knew that in that instance, when he made that rule to not eat from it, he took away free will because once you have a rule, you no longer have free will. So remember what I said, when you create fear, shame, or guilt in a human, it cracks open that wholeness within them. And that allows those evil forces to inhabit that body. So this is exactly what this rebel God did. Because remember, he was there and helped with the creation of the first humans in the first creation with Mother God. He knew their, their makeup and what would actually break them and be able to, you know, essentially make them weak to be inhabited by these evil forces. So this is where we read after Eve ate of this fruit and it said it was pleasant to the eyes, which I said they could not resist it. It's when she partook of that fruit that that guilt set in, that shame and that fear. That's why we see in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 10, where Adam says, so he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and hid myself. So once again, we see he was afraid. That's fear. He realized he was naked and hid himself. That's shame. So we have these qualities from the this couple manifested. Basically, their house began to be empty because those qualities replace the good ones that they had. And that gave this rebel God the opportunity to infiltrate their very being. Now, the same thing is true with the account of Cain and Abel. If you realize that Cain was basically a gardener, that, that's it. And then Abel was a herdsman or raised flocks. Now, if you notice, in Genesis 4, verses 3, 4, 5, and 6, it says in verse 3, And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Remember, this Lord likes blood sacrifices. So this would be acceptable to him. But Cain's offering of vegetation 
would not be acceptable to this God who likes blood sacrifices. Verse 5, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. This is the Lord, Jehovah, this rebel God. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So right there, that created that opening in Cain's house for these evil spirits to inhabit and therefore affect his behaviors. And we see that where he murdered his brother. That was the result if, of his continence or him becoming angry and having these negative feelings replace what, what he had in him, which were positive feelings. So this rebel God did this on purpose. He rejected Cain on purpose so that he can break his spirit. So this is just a couple Bible examples that show you how powerful it can be if you lose that self-worth and that self-love. You literally leave room for these evil spirits to enter your body and make you do things you really wouldn't do normally. So these are examples from the Bible. I'm going to give you another one that most of you probably know and it's modern day. That's why I, I need you guys to understand that this isn't fairy tales. There is spiritual warfare going on around us, but most people are blind to it. So the artist known as Prince, Yes, Prince. He was one of mother's angels, prophets, whatever you want to call it. He was different. He had an androgynous aura to him. He was outspoken. He didn't care what people thought. He was vegan. <laughs> but the messages in his music, most people would overlook. But he actually had a sense of where he came from. Now, not everyone who comes has everything known to them, but he was one who had, I would say, a good 60 to 70 percent of his pre-human existence back to him once he could effectively conquer this world and not be influenced by everything that was going on around him. So you may ask, what broke him down? Because he died a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. The rebel God got him, one of mother's agents. What got to him was he had a dispute with his record label. And when that happened, it basically brought resentment and feelings that were negative, that replaced those good feelings that he had within. And like I said, once you have that crack, it doesn't matter who you are for the most part that crack can be exploited by these evil forces. And once you're under the influence of them, you're under their power and control. This is exactly what happened with Prince. I, I'm not saying he's a bad person, but this is the reality. This really is the reality of things. And I'm trying to open your eyes up to things that you maybe have not noticed before. So I will link some of his music that especially is talking about basically what I've been talking about. Mother, women's rightful roles, um, even the son, different aspects like that. Um, love, why Adam never left Eve, that type of thing. Those songs, the message is in there, but if you don't know, you would just say it's a nice song, but not understand the underlying um, message. Okay, so... I think that's it for today. Like I said, please keep working on those solid gold qualities so you can replace those qualities within you and make your house whole so you leave no room, essentially, for the devil to get in. Okay? I love you all. Nah. As always, if I could come through the screen and hug you, I would. I really would. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Peace and love. All right. Bye.